Hello and welcome back to another edition of the Rockhound Channel. My name's William Clark and thank you guys for stopping on by today. Uh, so, I've got a couple things I wanted to just touch base on with you guys. Um, one, I've been a very busy body as of late. And the uh, reason why I've been such a busy body is because I've got me a lot of work to do. So, as I was speaking, so I got a couple videos that are going to be brought out here in just a little bit. Um, I just got to get them on the channel here. Uh, I went out to fantastic Rock Springs, Wisconsin, and I had a buddy of mine, and he's a great colleague that's uh, kind of been with me throughout this entire adventure. His name's Brandon Bransell. So, you're going to get to meet him a little bit more as we go through this 2019 season. A uh, few things I want to touch base with. Uh, number one, uh, the Wisconsin River has gone down a bit. But unfortunately, I still cannot get to my honey hole. So, I'm going to have to wait just a little bit longer on that. I did get a chance to drop on in there and kind of pick up some nice little deposits that I've seen so far. And uh, what I've seen has been pretty promising. Uh, so, uh, still waiting on that Wisconsin River. But, I do have a couple little places that I am still looking into. Uh, number one, I've got a spot that's uh, called the Nina Creek. And it's been uh, kind of a unique uh, situation that's been going on with that. Of course, it's been flooding. So, uh, we've been kind of watching that very closely. My buddy uh, Brandon's been right up to date with everything, and he has been an amazing, amazing participant in this adventure. Uh, as we all know, um, it's been a uh, few days since that uh, time that uh, I went out to Rock Springs, and uh, I've just been so overloaded with work. Uh, doing this and having a full-time job is kind of a, a challenge, <laughs> we'll say that much. So as we're passing through here, I want you to see this. Um, off to this side that you're seeing there by the Nina Creek there, there's a little bit of a spot that uh, him and I have been looking at. And it's what's crazy about it is that all them deposits that have been running through underneath that bridge we just passed has deposited itself on the opposite end there. So we're hoping that uh, we can possibly get in there a little bit Maybe have a pan or two at it and uh, see what's there. Um, I do know that the Nina Creek has uh, produced some beautiful agates. I have seen uh, gorgeous, uh, almost what they all look like is pink little sapphires. They're about the size of a pea. Um, I've seen a little uh, bit bigger than that. I've had a couple that were about the size of a, a quarter or a nickel. Uh, not too much on the clarity though, but I know some folks that know how to do those uh, heat treatment things on them gemstones, and I'm going to probably give a couple of those out there, and you're going to see that in a little bit on another video. So, like I said, this is a little bit of a vlog. I'm traveling my butt back home real quick, so of course I got to go to work today. So uh, please be sure to uh, subscribe to the channel if you are new to the channel. Please be sure to share it with your friends. I am telling all of you guys, 2019 is going to be insane. I cannot even say that enough. Um, as far as what I have seen, it's it's just nuts. I'm going to end up going down there probably within the next uh, few days, I'm thinking. And uh, just grab myself a small bucket with me. And I'll probably do a little bit of a new video about how to do all this kind of work on a shoestring. And what that means here is that you're going to be able to do all of these kind of uh, procedures and prospecting just with the stuff that you have at home. And I can't, I mean, that's how I started, guys. I started out with nothing. I had myself a small little pan that I was actually using that I got at a garage sale for five cents. And I ran that little cake pan or pie pan, rather. You've seen that in one of my other videos, if you've watched them. And uh, no kidding, guys, 
just using some of the stuff that you have around your home it, it, it's impressive of how well it works so again please I strongly urge all you guys check out all my other videos out there and learn believe me guys you don't have to throw a bunch of money at this when you start out because it may just end up being where wherever you are in the world it's not exactly probably the best place to prospect um, so you know just start out small that's what I'm uh, I've been stressing the folks so be sure to share that video if you're new please subscribe hit that bell because you're gonna be able to want uh, you're not gonna want to miss a single uh, episode or update uh, trust me on that guys uh, up here in uh, Wisconsin it has been uh, very unique uh, last uh, two three years uh, to see what I am seeing in some of these local uh, water bodies uh, has been insane I, I never even thought a million years that I would turn around and find gold deposits in the state of Wisconsin call me naive but I would have never even thought it and uh, of course I didn't do any information you know resource information or research into it until just after I found my little bit of gold that I do have so again please be sure to subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys again on another episode of the Rockhound channel you guys have a great night